What is up my friends? So recently At Games announced updated 4K versions of their ALU arcade cabinet as well as the ALP virtual pinball machine. Now normally I'm not one of these news regurgitation channels but when I saw the preliminary specs for the ALP virtual pinball machine I gotta be honest I I was pretty intrigued. So what are my thoughts on this recently announced At Games 4K ALP redesign? Well let's find out. So first things first, I just want to go over some of the updated specs and improvements that At Games put out. First up, we got expanded processing power and onboard storage with a Rockchip 3588 CPU and 32 gigabytes of storage. There's also an integrated VIBS for the Playfield, Backlass, and DMD, as well as a 32-inch 4K LCD Playfield display. There's also going to be a larger back glass at 23.8 inches versus the old 15.6 inches and a third back glass DMD, but no mention on the size of that. The software platform is going to be Legends CE4K. It's also going to have solenoids for the haptic feedback, replacing the old exciters. It's going to be larger speakers from 3 inches to 5 inches. It's also going to have a boxier cabinet drop down 4 inches, which in theory should give it a wide body design. It's going to have longer legs by 2 inches. It's also going to have 50 built-in tables with an asterisk next to it. We'll go over that a little bit later, as well as an MSRP to be determined. We're also going to talk about that. As far as availability, there's going to be a tentative time for pre-order on NOD Summer for a quarter four 2023 delivery. Also, 4K pinball packs are going to be available also in quarter four of 2023. All right, so there's a lot to unpack here with a laundry list of potential specs and upgrades. So what do I think about all this? Honestly, if all of the stuff that they've listed here will be delivered, I think that this is a game changer and i think that it puts a lot of pressure on companies like arcade one up to put out a product that is comparable in specs as well as price and whether you like at games or not i think that you got to be happy about this because what this does is it sets the bar and companies like arcade one are either going to have to match it or they're going to beat it and uh with this competition uh, the consumer is the one that always wins here. So now I just want to touch on some of the things that I talked about earlier, starting with the integrated VIBS board. Now what the VIBS board is, it's a board that when you hook up a PC, and for instance, if you're playing like FX3 Pinball through your PC, it's going to give you the back glass display. So your score and some graphics, things like that. And it's going to, going to look like real pinball. And what they, they initially did was sell this as a, a standalone unit to the buyer. And then it was up to them to, to install it. Now, a lot of people were damaging things when they were hooking it up. And the cables are very, very uh, delicate. So uh, the fact that they're doing this at the factory that takes all the pressure off of the buyer from potentially screwing something up and then void their warranty. And I, and I think this is long overdue, but I'm really glad that they did it. All right, so the next one is the 32 inch 4K play field. Now, of all the things that were listed, this is probably the one that I'm least excited about. And, and just hear me out. So I was always under the impression that when you go below 40 inches in screen size that 4K really doesn't matter anymore. It's really hard to discern from say 1080p. That's why you don't see a lot of 4K TVs that are 32 inch in size. So maybe I could be wrong. I've never played virtual pinball on a 32 inch screen 4K. Uh, maybe because you're standing closer that a lot of that detail will be available to, to be seen. I, I don't know. So let me know in the comments if I'm wrong on this. Um, either way, I'm happy that it's implemented and I'm sure a lot of other people will be happy as well. All right, so I'm very happy about this next one. So the back glass display, which on the old one is 15.6 inches, is now gonna be increased to 23.8 inches. Now keep in mind that the, the actual back box that's holding that screen of the old one is 20 and a half inches left to right. Now this new screen is gonna be 23.8 inches diagonal. So that's gonna be larger than that right there so that means that the back box is going to be huge which is good it's going to be oversized which it should be it's going to look like a modern pinball machine and i am super super stoked for that i can't wait to see when they start putting out some designs for this now in addition to that we're going to get a three inch dmd that's going to go between the speakers probably going to be small seven or eight inches i really don't care the fact that they just did it is good enough for me now here's a big one 
that a lot of people have been wanting, and that is solenoids versus the exciters for the haptic feedback. So at Games chose when they released this thing to go with these exciters. They're just little bitty speakers that kind of give you the feel of the ball moving around and hitting everything. It was a huge fail. It was a big, big mistake, and it really tainted this thing. Uh, it wasn't too hard to fix, but it was just a bad, bad move on their part. Arcade went up, went with solenoids, so, so why didn't that games? They cheaped out. It took them a while to fix, but I'm glad that they are implementing this into this new design. Now, they're also adding bigger speakers in the back box. So currently, those are around three inches. Now, they're going to be five inches. I never really complained about the old ones, uh, but honestly, I'm not going to complain about this. Bigger is always better, so five inches, that's, that's fine with me. Next, they're going to be adding four inches to the cabinet. So it's going to be four inches longer at the bottom and you might be asking well why, why would you do that well this thing just looks odd it doesn't look like a real pinball machine because it's just a little too thin and narrow and adding that four inches is going to make this look like again a modern pinball machine when you factor that in with the bigger back box this thing's going to look sick and i am Again, I'm just really, really excited. I'm so glad that they're doing this redesign. Um, I was hoping they'd do it a lot sooner, but again, you know, the fact that they're doing it is, is enough for me. All right, and then the last upgrade they're gonna be doing is two inches longer on the legs. And that's another one that a lot of people complain about in the forums. It's something that didn't bother me too much. I, I did extend mine to the highest that it would go, but now that you're adding another two inches to that leg, and hopefully then you can add even more if that's not enough, uh, I think it's just going to make the whole thing look cohesive. And that's all I wanted from, from day one is just to have a bigger body, a bigger back box, longer legs, and it's going to look amazing. Now, when it comes to the 50 tables that are built in with the asterisks next to it, I really don't want to speculate what those are going to be. Uh, that's something that P-Dubs can probably discuss on his channel. I, I really don't know what those could be. They're, they're obviously going to be probably 4K remasters of existing tables, whether they're going to be the title packs or the Dr. Seuss packs, or I'm not really sure. If I had to, to have a wish and if I had some say in this, I would want 4K remasters of the 22 built-in Gottlieb tables. I know that's not going to happen, but if I if I had to have a wish, that's what it would be. Hopefully they do that. I seriously doubt it, but but again. But yeah, that's that's just wishful thinking. All right, and last but not least is the price. Now, at games, if you're watching this video and and I hope you are, I think you got to make the sweet spot for this thing at 8.99. And I know that might seem uh, a little unrealistic, but just think about it. When you're when you're getting close to $1,000, I think 900 would still be not bad, but then you, I'm sure you got to factor in shipping, so it's going to put you at 1,000. But if you start at 1,000 or even higher, and then you add shipping, you're asking a lot from the average person that wants to jump into this and just be like, oh my God, you know, over a thousand bucks. Now to some people that might not be that much money, but you know, things are tight right now. So I think that if this thing's on the, the floor of Sam's, and it's over a thousand dollars that's that's just not something that the average guy that his wife sent him out to go get you know a rotisserie chicken and then he's just like i know honey you you, you sent me out for a chicken but i i came home with the 1200 hundred dollar pinball machine is that all right you fucking kidding me okay. are you kidding me that's that's not gonna fly so i think that you gotta get this thing under a thousand dollars that's a sweet spot and i think they're going to fly off the shelves the the demand's going to be super high and then you just do what you did last time you, you you go in waves and you make them you know as you can and just put people in in different waves uh, i'm totally fine with it i'm in no hurry to spend a thousand dollars but i am excited about this obviously one of the concerns that i do have is the fact that there is no picture of this this redesign yet they they've only added like this four inches and it says uh, subject to change that concerns me because they're talking about shipping these things in the quarter four of 2023 so that's like nine months away uh, i would hope that you're going to be manufacturing very soon i would think that the design would be getting dialed in at this point my thought is that certain content creators are already probably talking with that games and they're getting their feedback on this this redesign there hopefully that they will on their streams 
put it out there that, hey guys, what do you think of this? And then they can let At Games know, At Games can take all that information and then make some necessary changes if they have to. That's something they do. They kind of did with this one. They still missed the mark quite a bit, but but hopefully that's what happens. And I, and I have a feeling that it will. Now, as happy as I am about all of this, we are talking about At Games, all right? So we got to take all this information with a huge, huge grain of salt because At Games has a history of uh, of making these announcements and then not following through or coming out with the product and then missing the mark uh, as far as things that they had promised. Case in point, this thing was supposed to have a solenoid kit when it was released two years ago and we're not getting that. Obviously that's getting worked into this new design. They also over a year ago announced this arcade racing cabinet and it was all the buzz. Everybody was talking about it. They posted pictures that come to find out came from AliExpress that is an arcade racing cabinet that's sold there. Now whether they just got lazy and stole those pictures or whether they were going to work with that Chinese company to, to build this thing, I have no idea. But we still don't have this cabinet and I have heard rumblings that it's still in the works. My point is that I really hope that they don't pull like a Tommy Tallarico and just promise all this stuff and then either don't deliver at all and it just gets delayed and delayed or they just kind of pull back and only do a few of these things that they had promised. Um, I'm really crossing my fingers because uh, I, I, I think that anybody who's excited about the ALP, if they see this, you got to be really fucking excited because this is big news. It, it really is. And, and I think that if they could put this thing out there at the right price, with the right design. They could really corner the market here if this is done right. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for this video. What I wanna know from you is, what do you think of this ALP 4K redesign? Are you still leery about at games because of their past fails? Or are you just ready to just plunk down your money for a deposit on a pre-order? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. And if you like the video, make sure to do all that other shit, like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you know when I upload videos like this one. All right, guys, I will see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching.